So let's get started with depreciation. Now, obviously, we're not going to start off with the easy depreciation. I'm going to throw you into the deep end with an exam type question of what a depreciation problem would look like. Okay, we'll say, let's say, question in the exam, it would say, how long will it take for equipment? I'm going to write it in shorthand for equipment. Remember, this is mathematics, not English, so I'm not going to be criticized on the way I write. How long will it take for equipment to depreciate, to depreciate to 25% of its original value based on the reducing balance method uh, let's see how long will it take for equipment to depreciate to 25% of its original value based on the reducing balance method at let's say 16% per annum and that would be 6 marks okay guys so you've got equipment you've bought equipment today you want to know how long will it take for that equipment to depreciate to devalue to become scrap to get a book value to 25% of its original value. That means say, let's take for example, you bought an item for 100 Rand today. You want to know how long will it take for that item to depreciate to 25 Rand. From 100 Rand to 25 Rand. What period will it take if the depreciation rate is 16% per annum and they tell us, so that's your rate, on the reducing balance method and as we said in our last show another word if you have been paying attention or you have if you've been following the series of episodes you would have known that another word for reducing balance method is diminishing balance method of course another word for reducing balance method is diminishing balance method and this you will use in accounting as well as in mathematics so let's get started to in our answer right our answer says now, how long? So now we know A equals P into 1 minus I to the power N. Why to the power N? Because we are using the reducing balance method or we are using the diminishing balance method. Now A being our book value, but we don't have it. We don't have it. You might be saying, okay, so that's our principal value, our original value. 1 minus, what have they given me? The I, 0,16. I always told you, your percentage must be put as a decimal. So, 16% would be 0, 0,16. 16 over 100, 0, 0,16 to the power N. That's what we need to find. How long? We are looking for the period. N represents the period. How long? Okay, now, they say to 25% of its original value. They don't give us P. But if... Obviously, if P is our original amount, 25% of its original value would be 0,25P. So the final amount would be 25% of the original amount is equal to the original into 1 minus 0,16 to the power N. So if they said 75% of its original value would be 0,75. If they said half of its original value would be 0, 0,5. So you just convert the A to 0, 0,5 P. We're representing it with this. All we have to do now is it's an equation. So we divide this side by P. What I do on the left, I do on the right. It's a simple equation. So what, we, what am I left with now? 0, 0,25 is equal to 1 minus 0, 0,16 is 0, 0,84 to the power N. Now that we've come to grade 12 and we need to solve n in the power, what system in mathematics do we use? Yes, you are right. We use logs. 